I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. Have you ever wondered how to fit ready board in a shower room? Today's your lucky day. Because look, this is ready board. We're installing it in several shower blocks, so we're going to show you how to fit it. This is going to be a simple how to video, give you all the run through on how to fit it, the tools you're going to need. Make sure you like and subscribe. So here's a ready board. All it is is a membrane that's glued over the top of this foam, okay, so it's, it is absolutely solid. It won't flex or anything like that, but what it does, it gives us a nice key. So the tiler, when they put the adhesive and the towels on, it goes over nicely in this, on this, but it's perfectly flat, nice and smooth if it's done correctly. As you can see, nice high shower blocks in here. But as you can see on here, we have primed all of the existing tiles. So blue grit, something like that. Um, we've got some plaster um, primer here as well. Uh, basically, I'll show you up close. Basically, it's a nice grit. It uses like a sandy grit to it. So obviously the tiles are nice and shiny to start with. So you don't want to put anything on top of that because it's going to not bond to the, or, or adhere to the wall very good. So that's why we've done that. So when we dot and dab it, it's got nice, nice adhesion to the render, not render, the blue grit. So it gives it a nice um, adhesion to it. Then it's solid. Then what we want to do then is once it's all, once it's all sorted and it's all level upright, gone off. Tomorrow we're going to come in. We're going to drill some mechanic fix, mechanical fixings into the uh, ready board, so it's solid, absolutely everywhere. So there's no problems. These are the tools you're going to need. Okay, so you've got a spatula, silicon gun for the 610 ready nice big square to ensure you're always square within the room, a drill if you need to tack any screws and washers to timber, a straight edge, in our case we've got a nice level, if, you, if you're not using a level and you're using a straight edge, ensure you have a level with you as well, to always make sure you're upright, and some spare bits, so we've got enough silicon here, washers, so we're ready to go. Right, we've got our last shower room to do, let me show you. Me and Parks are here today just to finish off this room here. Park is just cut and ready. I'm going to start. We're going to go outside now, get a mix on, show you how we like to mix properly for dot and dab so you know. Job done. Then we're going to put on time lapse. I'm going to also talk throughout the installation of the weddy board for this one room, just for you lucky people, so you know how to do it for yourselves. I think Parker might be going for a piss. Can you hear it? Oh no, he's just filling up the bucket. Right there, mate? I'm hungry. Pork pie? <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> Nine o'clock, he's having a pork pie. Lovely jubbly. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm going to get a mix on quickly out here now. Always make sure the power's on. It might help. Right, as you can see, we put about a third of water in the bucket. Fill up the powder to it protrudes over the top of the water. 
<laughs> and then that's there or thereabouts. <laughs> Moist. Moist, isn't it? <laughs> so we put that straight into a spare bucket of water to clean off the paddle mixer. Because like he said, always clean the mixture. So we are mixing up the G-Tech Universal Bonding Compound. The consistency you want is that you want to stick some like a trowel. Okay, so you don't want to just stick, you don't want to stick it on the bucket trout, lift it up, and then it just falls off straight away because it's too sloppy. Sometimes wet is good, all right, but sometimes in this case it's not. Put those dirty lines back, all right? I didn't mean that. It's so like how I like to do it, it's gauge roughly the same amount, I'll show you here, roughly the same amount of adhesive on the bucket trowel each time. Remember I said about pre pre setting what the rules are doing. Boy. If you assess it before you fit in, it makes it nice and easy. Because then you know where roughly it's out of level, out of square. Talk about square parts. Have we got a square parts? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I said there's so much room in here. There's no exact rule for spacing in between. Just get it nice, roughly even about. And it's Friday, isn't it, parts? Yeah. It's Monday. <laughs> You're like <a> pack. <laughs> Like so. Sorry, you need a good level. Oh, cheers, mate. So you lift it up and then drop it down onto the ceiling below. And the same again, so I'm pulling it off the side. Tap it roughly in place and then squish it in to the 610. Ceiling. Make sure it's pushing the bottom as well. So, oh, yeah. Sometimes you can slap those things. It's quite nice slapping some things. Isn't it, Parker? Yes. This is the polymer adhesive sealant we use. So it's Weddy own 610, as you can see, okay? So what we use this for, as we showed in the video, is button up the other boards on top of each other and join in sideways, okay? So down the sides, down the bottom, and on the top if, if required. It's not required here. So they button up, squeeze together, get a spatula knife or putty knife, anything like that. Scrape off the excess, you've got a nice waterproof Sealant. Bosh! Boom! Parker's going to show you now how to cut off the top of the sealant. Like that. See? New knife, new blade. Always cut away from you as well. Not towards you. Isn't that right, Parker? Yes! You're putting the skin back here. Putting the skin back here. Twist on the lid. Like so. Twist on your and then get a decent cut. Oi! 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 
Fuck with these rap guys, drop me on when she bad times. Taking a bad part ass, I think she in love with my cat size. Better they all like bad vibes, can't give me no cash, please. Don't get a hobby, counting these racks in my pastime. Got back on me, took a champion, man, I don't trust me. My name's still like a master bitch, I'm gonna draw like a cavity. Let's draw back to me, Christian, can't tell this shit. I just don't get to the Benjamins, spend it, I'm on this in my battery. So he's put the stainless screw into the stainless washer, so when he screws it back to the timber frame, it pulls it back. Lovely jubbly. All you do is just screw into the centre of the upright timber. If your stud wall is there or thereabouts, it should be pretty much flush when your boards are butted up together. Say so using, using the 610, 610 ready silicone, Yeah, so you use a 610 um, weddy silicone around the whole bottom as well. So you drop the boards on top of it, which gives it a nice secure seal. <laughs> We're just tacking this up for now so we can crack on. Because we've got four shower rooms to do in here, um, trying to get, get them done today. And it's just a case of putting one more screw and wash it in the middle of all of these then. You're screwing it around. So this is one of the shower blocks that we're doing. We've just laid all the weddy board onto the walls. So this is a stud wall with a clear DPM and insulation inside that's been screwed up. We have the stainless screws with washers. We just got to finish off another one in the middle. We just tacked up for a minute. But when you butt up another board on top of the other one, as you can see, you've got silicon. The silicon that's supplied by weddy and that basically seals and waterproofs each section of the board and all the corners. So as you can see, these are vertical. They're laid horizontally. So as you'll see in the video, these are laid with dot and dab. We've squared them nicely and they're all perfectly level, ready for the tiler. So it's made the job for him nice and simple but as you are fitting them, as well as um, silicon and the, the joins, you also do the bottom. So when you place down the board, it squishes out the silicon as you'll see, and then you finish it off nicely. Once it's gone tacky, you can uh, rub it all in nicely. And what we've done here is the reveals for the doors, gone there. All moisture board everywhere else. This will be moisture boarded today. We've all got all got it pretty much all sorted now. So we've just got number one, two, three. Three more shower blocks in this half to do. And then we've got to do another four on the other side. As you can see, that's the stud frame. Clear, clear DPM over the top. Screw the weddy board with the washer supplied. Stainless screws, job done. But obviously make sure 
you get your frame and everything perfectly square upright. So when you fit it, you know it's gonna be nice and perfect. So the tilers will come in, they can literally adhesive straight up, then it's all perfectly flat, square, plumb, everything. They can do a consistent adhesive all the way up, put the tiles on, then it's really bang on. Again, it's all about prep work. Do the prep work right. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it, actually? The prep work right. <laughs> yeah, do the prep work right. It makes everyone else's job a lot easier, even if you're not doing the rest of the work. Doesn't matter. Do it right first time, no matter what. If you find this video, video helpful, okay, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else or any more advice you need on how to fit Weddy Board, let us know and we won't do it. <laughs> we will do it, okay? All the tiling's been done on the floors now. As you can see, looking very good. We've got a couple of additional jobs they want doing now. So we've got a box, box in these pipes here, all the way around. But for here, I'll take you around here. They want us to go right up to the vaulted ceiling. We've got to board this and then to suit that. A couple of bits to replaster once the tiling's done, because we'll go above the tiling and go up to two, 2.4 high. And then after that, we're gonna patch in some plaster in, tidy it all up so it's ready to go, and that's it then. Right. Completed. Do, 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 do. Yes. What we'll do now is come back next week for all the mechanical fixings across the shower rooms then we'll do is cut these off put a moisture ball on top finish off the top capping on there a couple of bits to do there and then we can start the boxing and stuff like that yeah it's all looking pretty good now so if you found this video helpful make sure you subscribe to the channel okay like the video Keep your eyes peeled because we're going to do more videos throughout the year. We're going to try aim post around two to three times a week. Okay, if there's anything else you want us to try and cover, drop us a message or a comment. Let us know. We'll try and cover it for you and try and help out as much as we can, guys. All right, take care.